Now, if you'd like to have private guitar lessons over video chat from the comfort of your home anywhere in the world, please just contact me and we can schedule and conduct video chat guitar lessons over our platform of choice. During these lessons, you see sometimes charts or diagrams down at the bottom. And remember, these diagrams and these charts are linked below as well to my website where you can take your time and learn the scales or whatever I'm talking about. Now when you see it on the diagram below, notice how the diagrams seem to be inverted. The reason is that we look at the guitar like this and turn them over like this. Notice that when you look down at yourself as well, you see yourself upside down. You see the, your feet at the top of the frame and your chest at the bottom of the frame. So whenever you look down at the guitar, you see the guitar upside down as well. Now just get your guitar, sit back and enjoy this guitar lesson and start playing guitar. Now bar chords like our good friend F, Fa major, or you can hold G or A or B or C or D. A good thing about holding this form of a chord is that once you just let this finger go, it becomes minor. Now this bar, it's not easy to hold it, and especially not when you're starting, and it can usually be avoided, because chords, bar chords, are just open chords where the bar finger imitates the beginning of the guitar. It just blocks the strings instead of here, here. So if this is E, this is F, and this is G, and this is A. In the same way, this is, if you hold A like this, I hold it like this, but if you hold A like this, then just change it to fingers 2, 3, and 4, same thing, and pretend like you're holding the end of the guitar over here, and then now it's B flat. Here you can also make a minor version, B flat minor. So any chord, any bar chord is just an open chord with fingers two, three, and four, where the finger number one is pretending to be the end of the guitar. So any chord that you know C, if this is C, then this is F. This is A minor, then this is C minor. Because C is right over here. Instead of A, it would be right over here. You can play many chords avoiding holding the bar because the bar is annoying sometimes. It's annoying because it's harder for beginner guitars to hold. And even for progressive guitarists, sometimes you want to just hold your neck like this with a thumb wrapping above it. And when you hold bar chords, you usually have to have your thumb right here from the middle of the neck, just a little bit above it. And this is how I hold all bar chords. But then when you hold like a G, like this, I can have my thumb just hang above it. So if I want to hold F and not have to move my thumb around, I could just hold F like this, which I do prefer. F, G, A, B, C. But now when you want to have a minor, A, if I want to have A minor, then I would have to at least do a little bit of a bar over here go back with my thumb behind and go. Same goes for the C form. If, uh, if this is what a C looks like with fingers two, three, and four, I want to play F over here, but again, I don't want to have my thumb have to go all the way around. So I'll let my thumb release, go back up, and just put the finger here on the one note that the bar really stands there for. Now I have an F, E, E flat. 
once you learn to hold the bar, though, it's nice to be able to just go. Mm -hmm. 